What's happening? I'm Bradford Howe. Think of me as the Wookiee first mate to your collective hand solo. The dust is cleared from the Jared Leto unveiling of his physique and makeup for the role of Joker in the upcoming Warner Bros. adaptation of DC Comics Suicide Squad. Now he doesn't look anything like Heath Ledger or Jack Nicholson and that's to be expected. But what he does look like, and hear me out, just running it up the flagpole, Marilyn Manson, Rose McGowan, going around in the 90s, snuck off, had a love baby. That love baby was subsequently raised in the basement workspace of Tim Burton, and when it was old enough to get a job, it split its time between a tattoo parlor and a head shop. I don't know. Anyway, we can't be certain that this is exactly what the Joker is going to look like. Some people are saying the tattoos are just placeholders for scars that'll be on the Clown Prince's body when he hits the big screen. Other Suicide Squad news, writer-director David Ayer released a picture of the rest of the squad, and they look incredible. We also got a really nice close-up shot of Deadshot's costume, as portrayed by actor Willard Carroll Smith Jr., with whom you might be familiar. Now, a lot of these pictures, of course, uh, imitate the dark tones of The Dark Knight and Man of Steel. Rest assured, when these villains hit the screen, they will bring their own sense of insane glee, and I can't wait. Now, who here likes polls? Perfect. In a recent poll of over a thousand people in England and Wales who self-identify as Catholic, the poll reports that a third of them would consider making more green decisions if the Pope had something to say about it. Well, good news. The Pope just might. In an upcoming expected letter to churches from the Pontiff, the Pope is expected to cover climate change, uh, the environment, and poverty. Wow. I just hope that the Vatican audio video department is getting wholesale prices on all the microphones the Pope's been dropping lately. <laughs> And finally, back on Monday, May the 4th, may the 4th be with you, of course, Star Wars Day. Star Wars t-shirts out in full effect, the USDA tweeting out meat maps and safe handling and preparation of tauntaun meat. But a lot of people are looking forward to a Friday far, far away. StarWars.com reports that toys from the upcoming Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, will be released to the world. Again, the toys, not the movie, will be released to the world on Force Friday. Friday, September 4th, at midnight, and we can only imagine the bounty that awaits. That bounty probably precluding a certain Boba who met an untimely demise in the Sarlacc pit. Or did he? A lot of people say that Boba lives. Does Boba live? How about that Pope? And what do you think of the Suicide Squad shots? Tell us in the comments below, and if you want to subscribe to more of this thing, uh, just click on this Mickey Mouse push puppet. Mickey? Ah. He's always playing tricks. I'm Alec Trout. See you next time.